Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, happy weekend. It is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. I have some new food finds for you today and some really good recipes up my sleeve for dinners as well as for meal prep. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and make sure your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a single video. I have a huge life update coming your way tomorrow. Make sure you turn your bell on so you don't miss it. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you reach your goals. A lot of you have been reaching out asking me what I'm doing to lose weight. That is information we can discuss and share in one-on-one -on -one coaching. So definitely head on over to my website, purchase a session if you're interested. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and come on over, join us on Facebook. That's the best way to keep up with me day to day. So let's go ahead and jump in to this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I went to my local Fred Meyer or Kroger store. I found a few new food finds and I have some really good recipes planned. The only thing not shown is a case of Coors Light, which is already in our garage fridge. So let me show you what I picked up for the week. Three 12 packs of Diet Coke for Troy. This is a weekly occurrence in this house. A box of rigatoni pasta. I haven't bought rigatoni style pasta in a long time. And last week I didn't make the sausage pasta recipe, so I want to make it this week and I thought that I would pick up this fun pasta instead. Like I mentioned in last week's grocery haul, this is mainly something for Troy that he can have for lunches, but I thought that rigatoni would be a fun spin on the pasta. Also for Troy, I grabbed the Reese's Main Street Mac and Cheese. I thought this would be a great side dish for him since I'm mainly focused on protein and veggies. I don't eat a lot of side dishes, but he does. So I thought this would be really easy for him to warm up or me to warm up for dinner. You know, I've been loving all my little snack things and this was actually on sale for $2.50. This is from the brand Private Selection. This is a Kroger brand, but it's their more fancy brand. It's really good actually. And this is a snack board. They're smoked, dried, cured, red wine, salami, Gouda cheese, Mediterranean pitted green olives, and semi-sweet chocolate wafers. It has 14 grams of protein, 280 calories. I just love having these snacks on hand. Here's a new find. I don't know if this is new to Kroger or if this is just new to me, but this is their Carb Master Classic White Bread. It only has 30 calories a slice, four net carbs, and it has four grams of protein. It's kind of similar to the Keto Bread. This is just the Kroger brand, the Carb Master brand, and I am I'm really excited to try this out. I think I'm actually going to make some avocado toast for breakfast this morning and I'll let you guys know in my what I eat in a day what I thought of it. A gallon of 1% milk for Troy. A can of diced tomatoes. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. I also needed some diced green chili peppers for a recipe. We needed eggs in the Pete and Jerry's brand. This is a really good organic brand of eggs and it was on sale for $3.99. Lots of cheese. I needed some part skim mozzarella, light shredded cheese and then I picked this up for Troy. He's been making a lot of quesadillas and things and this was on clearance for $2.50 and this is the Sargento for state cheddar cheese. I also picked up a couple frozen pizzas for him because he ate those three I picked up a couple weeks ago. I grabbed a tombstone for meat and then I decided to try one of the private selection pepperoni and mozzarella thin crust pizzas. He definitely prefers thin crust over thick crust so I think that he will like both of these. Another quick easy side dish option for him and me actually if I wanted some is the Idahoan roasted garlic mashed mashed potatoes. I grabbed the family size bag just so that we would have lots of leftovers. This is a new product to me. I, I know these have existed for a long time, but I've never tried them. And one of my friends said, oh my gosh, if you eat a lower carb diet, you need to try these. They're delicious. So I grabbed one of the chocolate chip Quest cookies. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried these and what you thought, but she just raved about the chocolate chip. They finally had the one third less fat cream cheese, so I picked up an eight ounce block for a dinner recipe. I needed some light blue cheese dressing for my lunch meal prep. I will be sharing with you all of my dinners and what you'll be seeing in my meal prep on Monday, so stay tuned for that after the grocery haul, but I did need some blue cheese dressing. I can't 
a box of chicken rice aroni. This is for a Tex-Mex style of recipe for a dinner this next week. Green juice for Troy. This is another thing that I pick up every week. And then for produce, I did just get an Imperfect Foods box, so I didn't need a whole lot, but I decided to grab myself some raspberries. It just sounded really good and they were on sale. A couple of tomatoes for a recipe and then a couple of bananas for my meal prep. So that is everything in this week's grocery haul. Definitely stay tuned for my update video coming your way on Sunday. I'm sharing with you what I'm doing on my channel moving forward as it relates to grocery hauls as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss the video. And let's go ahead and jump into dinners for the week and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. So today is Saturday. We always go out for dinner to on Saturday. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making that tater tot chicken pot pie casserole. I actually didn't make that last week and a lot of you said that you'd be interested in that recipe. So you will be seeing that in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday is that Tex-Mex chicken and rice casserole that I picked up the rice aroni for. Tuesday is a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm finally making that Italian sausage pasta that I talked about last week. Thursday is a sheet pan dinner, one of my favorite dinners. And then Friday is also a leftover night. And here's what you'll be seeing in my meal prep on Monday. I'm really excited for this. For breakfast this next week, I am making pancake muffins, high protein, yummy muffins for breakfast. Lunch is going to be buffalo chicken pasta. I have been craving this and I have a really good recipe for you. And then a snack, I'm making a high protein berry crumble. So a high protein version of a crisp, which should be amazing. So again, stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Hall. I hope you enjoyed seeing my new food finds, what's on my menu for the week, and stay tuned for a really good meal prep coming your way on Monday. If you enjoyed this grocery haul, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe if you're not, and don't forget to turn on your bell so you don't miss Sunday's video or any video in general. We do a grocery haul every Saturday. You'll also find nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group down in that description box. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.